I've got the focus on the front and it's just a matter of then aligning the vehicle into the focus point that you're oh, it's gonna be so great. Let's hope it is, Hound. If you take a step forward, yeah, and turn around for me. Great. What are we on? Oh, look at that lens. Oh, let's go manual. Okay. Here you go. Bit of a wet one today, guys. Um, we are in the Islington area around Angel. And uh decided to come out for a bit of a puddle pog, which I thought would be kind of cool. Never really done it before. Um, Dave uh, Wallace from Dave Wallace Shoots just gave me a few tips. So I'm going to come out, have a bit of exploration. Um, over here we've got a cool perch and uh, some nice Berkeley Christmas lights in the background. So I figured <clears throat> there's nothing like coming out in the rain and experiencing London and it's finest. So let's rig up here and see what we can get with these puddles. Um, it is cold. We've forecasted for rain, but with, uh, sorry, not rain, snow, but with the uh, rain around, it ain't gonna stick. So either way, it's a bit frosty on the old brick today. But where we are here is a bus stop. So we should get some cool stuff coming through. Um, I'm on the 35 mil and we also have the Canon 5D Mark IV in place so the old bus is um, not quite coming where I thought it would but let's see what we can get as it comes by. So my settings, I'm at 1.4 at the moment. Uh, what are we? ISO 320. Doesn't need to be that high. I'm gonna come down to ISO 160, which will bring the shutter to 400. Actually, let's go 500, ISO 200. All right, so now that that bus is gone, I've got the focus on the front and it's just a matter of then aligning the vehicle into the focus point that you want. So it would be cool to have a bit of a nicer background. We'll get some vocally shots in a minute. But let's see how we're going there. It's kind of cool. Some nice reflections there. And they're all popping around the corner. I did a quick few shot before um, doing these. So. The lights are quite nice and I like how the curvature of the buildings is coming around and playing with the scene. So it'd be nice to get another buff coming through. So basically you're holding your camera down just above the puddle, thinking of where, let's get a couple there. Did I get that? Not quite, couldn't find, oh yeah I did find focus. Anyway, there's going to be more interesting puddles around. Let's keep having a look. That's pretty cool. So I quickly opened up there. Um, oh, sorry guys. Um, just as I ran out onto the road to get that shot because he inside looked pretty dope as well but the sharpness isn't quite there but let's play with some of these vocals let's see what we can get here so probably left that a bit long I was thinking uh, maybe I should get them as they actually cross in a reflection on the road rather than just a bit of a uh, whatchamacallit Um, rather than just an umbrella shot with vocals in the back so you can see the paint strips in the road as well which is kind of cool it gives it that bit of added effect which I really like so I'm gonna wait for a shot to come by there's a really cute lady who's slowly working her way up get her 
the boat we escaped. And then try and frame it with this as well. Nice. Just got through. How are you? Do you want to see the shot? I was trying to blow out the background of it. It was mm -hmm. quite cool. Thank you. <laughs> so pretty cool. It'd be cool if the vehicles weren't there. Obviously, that makes a difference. Um, but these pods are, as I've said, basically just a um, excuse for me to come out, test things, have a play. Just seeing if oh, he's leaving anyway. Um, have a play and kind of encourage you guys to get out and about as well and sort of take some shots and um, test some settings because we ain't going to learn any new skills unless we actually push ourselves to um, uh, try some different things so cool oh, I've opened up here so let's close that down a couple more I'm waiting for something interesting to come by but I just thought the leaves might add a bit of a cool effect so we've got a bus coming through just kind of neat a bit of a cool Bogley Bokeh effect Right, wander somewhere else. This phone box here might give us some cool effects if there's some rain on it. There's a guy coming through. Oh, might need to go to manual focus on here. Purely because the raindrops on here. With the old manual focus, it allows us to focus where we want rather than it catching purely on oh wasn't quite ready for that rather than it catching on the old uh let me try auto right close Gonna be a test of whether or not I can do it quick enough. It's not bad. The white sign's a bit distracting to me, but we can see that it kind of adds the cool effect. So we don't need large puddles for what we're doing. There's some small puddles around here, which can be a cool effect. So. to get someone that is in the right direction of where we're going and also just thinking about the um the step as well like i like to capture people as they are oh it would have been good to get him right in the middle of that i like to capture people as they are in the middle of um when both feet are touching the ground it just sort of gives that yeah. more in the motion sort of step so we haven't got someone coming for a wee bit we'll wait for them Let's hope it is, hang on. If you take a step forward, yeah, and turn around for me. Great. Amazing. Do you want to have a look? Sure. Kind of cut it off a bit, but it's pretty neat. Oh, that's a really cool shot. Yeah. It's good work. We're going to find your work. 
Cutton. Where can I find your work? Um, I'll give you a card. Yeah. Is you're going to be on YouTube as well. I'm just doing a quick tutorial on the old, uh, on the pods, but I usually shoot a bit of fashion and advertising, so, awesome, and amazing. culture and stuff like that. Thank so, you. have Thank a geese. Yeah, no worries. If you send me a private message, I'll get it through to you. If you want, yeah. Amazing. Oh, and. Great. Thanks, man. <laughs> Fingers are cold. All right. So obviously could have positioned that a bit better that last shot, but there's some cool ones in there. Uh, all right. The guy obviously understands photography a bit if he's actually um, can see what I'm doing, so it's kind of cool. Let's check. Okay, the high vis. Kind of just waiting around the area for the sort of shot that I will find engaging, but we might head up the road a bit and see what we can get. When the elements change like this, it's a uh, bit of a um, different playground you know there's um, obviously reflections around which oh, would have been cool to get <laughs> the would have been cool to get him in front of the taxi lights the old bike coming by but no more bikers just yet I keep going through but yeah a lot of different reflections around puddles to play with you know camera's getting a little bit wet which is fine they are weatherproof um, to an extent Whew, bitter. so I don't know if you guys jumped on and watched the last video uh, if you did, thank you. I'm glad that you enjoyed the sunshine as well as the rain today. Um, but yeah, it was an interesting one with uh, National Rail sort of throwing about their power. And um, But yeah, first thing I did when I got home was actually check in. Um, yeah, their rules are exactly the same as, uh, uh, what is it, TFL. So I was quite within my rights to be in there about a tripod or flash so but you know I didn't want to stand and kick a fuss when I wasn't too sure if it's the same case in um, National Rail but at least I know for future reference and we can sort of take it from there so that looks quite cool Bit of a guess on focus in that one. All right. Not bad. Should get some rain. Oh, puddle. So get some rain reflections in here. It's not as much water on here as I thought there would be. And it might be better with the longer lens, but. what we can get. We'll just wait for some cool lights to come by. We've got the red bus. Not bad. Something at least. So, frosty yellow windows behind her. Kind of cool. Oh, hands are freezing. So I've got the focus on the front button here. Uh, and kind of midpoint, but also a little bit, uh, I think I've got it one notch higher. Oh. 
This could be a cool shot. Oh, she just moved out of the road. Damn. Excuse me. Can I take a portrait of you, please? Um, it, you, you won't be able to see you. What I'd like to have is your umbrella standing in the middle here, and it'll be just you with the umbrella and this incredible landscape around you in the rain. Okay. I, I'll show it to you after, and if you're not happy with it, I can get rid of it. Okay. Yeah? Okay, you're going to be standing right here for me, and just have the umbrella above you. Thank you. <laughs> gonna get a little bit lower. It's good. So that's the first one there. And then the second one here which I'll straighten and things. So I'm just um, showing people how to use reflections and water and things like that. Okay. Yeah? Right. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. So a bit of a wide escape there. And um, a wider landscape and trying to um, align the alleyway as well, which is kind of cool. So, what we do get around here is a bit of foot traffic crossing the road. It'd be kind of cool to have someone in the middle. I'm uh, trying to think what direction would be better to throw out in the background, so... Yeah. Let's go, see what we can get up here. If you're not afraid of the cold or the rain, there's nothing like being out and making the most of it. Oh, oh. He's a big boy. Hey! Yeah? Wow. How old is he? About seven. Seven? Amazing. What's his name? Diego. Ah. Interesting camera set up there. Yeah, funny. Yeah, I'm just doing a YouTube video on um, tutorials in the rain. Oh, I love it. Yeah, but I love animals, so I just thought I'd come by and say hi. I've never seen one so big. Hey. Oh. What's so your good. YouTube channel? It's called Forever Seen. Um, oh, it's uh, based on street photography. But uh, this is it here. But yeah, I haven't got the YouTube channel on there, but have a geese and. It's just something fun I've been doing through, uh, what do you call it, COVID. Sort of yeah. getting out and about. I'm kind of new to London, so it helps me to get to explore places. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you live around here, or are you just... Yeah, yeah, I'm in the area. Yeah, it's cool. Well, he drinks at the um, Fox Club. Oh, OK, I'm does Luke, he? So say hello. <laughs> Shall do, Luke. Nice to meet you, Diego. Might get a quick photo, that's all right. Oh, what are we on? Oh, look at that lens. Oh, it's got manual. Okay. Here you go. Oh. Okay. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> oh, he's an interesting one. Yeah, you're a good boy. All right, thank you, Luke. Oh, take the camera with you. You too, man. Take care. Wow, he's big. It's up to my hips. Anyway, um, what was I saying? There's a crossing up here, which is kind of a bit of a popular one, which could be quite neat to catch people in the um, bokeh in the middle of the road. So before we do that, we've also got this area here, which will be quite cool. We can get some reflections. Nice to have the longer lens. 
which I might swap over to. Oh. I think that's more of a long lens shot, that one. I can hardly um, feel my fingers, but that's fine. Um, I want I'm going to get out on the road and do a Berkeley shot of umbrellas and such, but I think it would be better with the long lens. So, might call this pov where we are. Um, hope you've learned a thing or two about just sort of um, getting out there with your camera and throwing it on a low depth of field and kind of just playing with some puddles and um, seeing what you can get. So just have an open mind, don't go out with any um, expectations and kind of just cool outfit, I like it. <laughs> and um, just see what you can get, you know, make the most of it and enjoy the rain because it's got to be around for a bit. All right guys, see you soon, subscribe, ciao.